Part three of the Zulu reptilian origin story by Credo Mutwa. So the reptilian king's wife made it so that when men and women came together, they would enjoy, you know, but they were enjoying, you know, way too much. The king complained of the noises the humans were making in the bushes when they would, you know, and it disturbed him. And he yelled at his wife, you silly woman, you made it so they, you know, and now they're not getting any production to them. So essentially she made it so humans start to do this, but there was no production being made from the gold mines and also the diamond mines. And all of this happened because of her sympathy for the humans. So she tells her husband that she'll find a way to genetically modify us humans so that we won't do too much of you know. So they ended up genetically modifying human beings so when the man and the woman, that the woman will fall pregnant and then he would leave her alone. And that the noises would stop because he hated that there was no production being done in the gold mines and also that we made a lot of noise. <clears throat> and this also reminds me of another creation story, but I'll get back to that in a minute. King Umbaba told her, you better do this and it better be successful. And it was, and the human men left the human women alone when she was with child. Out of the blue, some black hero is activated and his name is Muero. He challenges her husband, the reptilian king, to a duel and the reptilian king loses and he loses his... And when Muro cuts it off, he takes it with him. What does he do? I actually don't know. And he just disappears. But the reptilian king's people find him and he confronts him. The reptilian king says to Muro, he said, the warrior, you cut off my, and I can't with my wife. I replaced it with a gold one and I can't with my wife anymore. You think too much, you wretched human. King Umbaba had a long nail and he jammed it and then he drank the warriors and then disposed of the body. Till this day, Zulu warriors believe that these beings will come and consume humans because of this story. And many scientists and Zulus also say that when they find human skulls, a lot of the time, this part, is missing. So that was part three of Credo Mutua's story of the Chitahuri or the reptilians and how they came to earth. And it's very similar to other reptilian stories throughout the globe, like with the Indian people, with the Naga and also China's um, uh, story of the, the serpent people. And I will be covering more on Credo Mutua because he also talks about the dolphins and how they're magical creatures that come from another world. And if you guys want to hear more, please let me know. Betty Cafetti signing off. Love you. Bye.